Hey guys, Havasu Lou out in beautiful Lake Havasu. Hey, we're out here checking out a three bedroom, three bath pool home for a client out in Horizon 6. Hang out and check it out too, and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right guys, this is 4008 Blue Canyon Road. Taking a look at this uh, for a client. This is out in Horizon 6, or what a lot of people know as Donkey Acres. So this is all residential agricultural zoned, and so you can pretty much do whatever you want out here. And the flip side of that is you can do whatever you want out here. So it's a, a due diligence issue for sure. So you have some uh, gated side RV boat parking on this side. This is on just over one acre. Most of the lots out here are one acre. So you can pretty much do anything you want out here. You can park an RV, you can have livestock and horses, you can put a steel building, you can go two stories, you can pretty much do whatever you want. So you just have to look around the homes and properties out here to see what's around you. Um, you know, like across the street there a little bit. There's no HOA. Tons of gated side RV boat parking on this side as well. So you have a nice little front courtyard. This one's been on the market for 80 days or so and it's listed for $749.9. All right, guys, this is a three bedroom, three bath pool home built in 2007, 1,867 square feet. Again, this one sits on just over one acre in the residential agricultural zoned area. Nice open living area, split floor plan, vaulted ceilings. So I believe they do use this for like a vacation rental too, or for their friends. So you have your little dining area. Slider out to the backyard pool area. Granite topped sit at kitchen uh, counter, stainless appliances. Looks like the cabinets are a little bit of an upgrade. You have a little walk-in pantry, some pot shelves. There's also a skylight in here. So it looks like it's pre-wired in the ceiling for low voltage, so ground sound. You have your garage door access here to the right, indoor laundry and access to the master, which is basically behind the kitchen. Slider out to the backyard pool area. It's actually a pretty good sized master. So you have your master bath, has dual sinks, a skylight, tile topped. There is a skylight in here as well. You have a little linen closet and a walk-in closet. You have a toilet with its own door. Tiled walk-in shower. All right, let's go check out the other side of the house. All right, so you have the other two bedrooms and a guest bath on the other side of the house. This is guest bedroom number one, and it's a junior master suite.
So you have your little junior master suite bath. You also have a tiled walk-in shower in here as well. Also has a rear door to the backyard pool area, so it's a perfect little uh, pool room type setup. So you have the guest bath in the hallway. Tiled shower, tub combo. So you have guest bedroom number two at the front of the house, kind of your standard setup. So you have your indoor laundry, has a little bit of a storage area with a couple sliders and a utility sink, skylight. And then you have your garage door access here off the living area and kitchen. So you have a pretty decent uh, garage setup. It's a three car garage. You have a 26, a 33 and a 44 foot bay. Both have eight foot doors and looks like there's central air in here. I see some returns and vents. Yeah, definitely central air in here. I don't know if it's its own unit or not, but there is central air, which means there's also heat as well. So it's basically a heat pump. So if you call for heat, it throws heat. So this is the 44 foot side. Can't really get back there, but you get the idea. All right, let's go check out that awesome pool area. All right, so you have a real nice backyard setup, ceiling fans, pre-wired for speakers, big oversized covered back patio. That's the slider from the master. So that gate goes down to the rest of the property. So again, this is an acre, so there's a bunch of, there's another half of this property. Tons of room back here. Maybe even put out a casita or another garage. Lots of uh, options with a property like this. So the pool is super nice. Has that quartz plaster finish. Pop-up cleaner is nice. Baja shelf. Big hot tub. Everybody loves snakes. Of course, they have uh, some bird preventatives. And I think we've talked about that before, haven't we? So you have a nice built-in little gazebo barbecue area. These look like they are concrete tops. So you have a barbecue sink. Little tile backsplash, more bird uh, deterrents, a wood burning gas starting fireplace. Also, have bird spikes on the top of the fence. So, it looks like there's also misters coming out of the ceiling. Not sure what kind or all that. There's also some can lights. This is a pretty big pool for Havasu. You might have noticed most of the pools are kind of on the small side just because it's dry here and your evaporation rate is higher the more surface area you have. This looks like it's a pretty cool little spillway when it's on, waterfall feature and a slide. I would have that running all day if it were me. Little steps up to the slide area. Let's go up here and see if we can't break our necks. Here's a little slide, pretty cool. And then your property goes all the way back to the wash line, probably back there somewhere. We'll go check that out in here in a minute. Also, these properties are on septic tank, so it's actually considered a benefit because your water bills are super cheap. So here's all your pool equipment, heater, and there are in fact two AC units. So one does serve the garage. So here's a little better look at the side area. There's tons and tons of room back here. 
and then it is gated all the way to the side. Looks like there's lights and some power. And then you have a double gate down to the back, but it's all locked up. So I'm just gonna kind of peek down there real quick so you guys can get an idea. So that goes down. And if you look over here where that fence ends, it's probably the end of the property line. So if you follow that over, um, you can kind of get an idea. Hey guys, have a back again with you. Hope you enjoyed the quick little video walk through the house over here on Blue Canyon. Again, this one has been on the market for a little while, 80 days, 749,900. I'll put a direct link to the listing detail page right below this video so you guys get all the original listing pictures, current price and availability. Of course, if you guys have any questions at all, always feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is right below this video. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.